My name is Sylvia Huang. Uh, my majors are LGST and Asian Languages and Civilizations, and I studied at Oxford University at St. Catharines College. I really wanted to experience the very intimate tutorial setting, um, even though we have very small classes at Amherst, being just one-on-one -on -one with a tutor really appealed to me. And there are a lot of courses that were very interesting to me that were not necessarily offered at Amherst, and so I wanted to kind of branch out and try those tutorials as well. Because the learning experience is so intimate and one-on-one, -on -one, there's not really room for faking your readings or not doing your homework. And I think personally I grew a lot as um, a student um, and as a scholar that questions and probes into a lot of the readings I did. And so I learned to, to really read in depth um, and to question a lot. They asked me a lot of questions of why do you think this is? Or I would give an answer and they keep on asking why, why, why? And so it really helped me develop a comprehensive way of answering questions and also a nuanced way of answering questions where if I say, if I respond with a statement, I have to back it up with proof or evidence um, um, or other arguments. One habit or thing I picked up was to try not take things too seriously and to laugh at myself a lot. Um, there were a lot of new experiences and new people I met there, and it always helped to kind of laugh off mistakes, whether it was in my language or interactions with them. So for example, I joined the rowing team at Oxford, the St. Catharines College rowing team, and it was my first time rowing or being on the water and I was kind of just put in a boat and told to just go and there was a lot of lingo that happened um, and a lot of lingo I was not used to. Um, and there was one morning practice, it was my first time on the boat as an official practice session and um, the Cox told me to back the boat in and I didn't know what backing the boat in meant and so I accidentally pushed the boat into um, trees along the bank of the river it was quite crazy because it was also 6 a.m. in the morning um, but I learned to not take that too seriously and remember it as a funny story rather than um, a situation where I felt uncomfortable or didn't know what to do. What I learned from that experience was how to be with myself and be alone much more um, and to slowly and gradually find an identity there. After a while, after you find a close group of friends, um, you navigate your tutorials, you learn to love the city a bit more, um, I think then some sort of identity kind of settles in by itself. I joined a society called the Oxford University Asian Pacific Society and we would put on a bunch of events um, and talks and activities to promote the Asian heritage and culture. There were also roots and seeds of activism um, and it was a great platform there to reach out to all of Oxford students um, and try to try to shed light on some um, some activities or culture cultural events that were important to us there. So I actually saw a lot of similarities between the Asian Pacific Society that I was part of Oxford um, and also the Chinese Students Association I was part of here at Amherst.